uh, you get a chance to change his stance. And for some reason, uh, I'm not sure why, but this has happened to me before a couple of times. He doesn't do it. The turn that I just SBB everybody. So I'm like, okay, I'll just SBB everybody again and pray that it works. Usually, uh, this setup um, would prefer to have, because uh, the only thing that I'm missing in terms of uh, protection is uh, attack and defense down. So I don't have any attack or defense down on this squad. Uh, so if you are running with like friends and stuff uh, and you're using this squad, you'd want them to bring something like a Zadus. A Zadus would work fine, or Haley. Haley works fine as well. As long as you get some of that attack and defense down from your other members, you should be doing tons and tons of damage. And so there, for whatever reason, I was able to SBB through the entire godly stance without getting a, a look of anger from him. So that's good. Um, means I didn't have to burn an overdrive there. And I still haven't, you know, smoke bombed or left. And it's only been like, you know, 9-10 minutes since I actually started fighting him. And he's already down to under 50%. So is this where we get the expression of anger? There we go. So the military stance, he did not follow it. He gets angry. Um, looking at the Thunderblade here and Fireblade. Um, you know, they're a lot weaker than, you know, his main body. So of course you're gonna get, you know, kill him off quicker. So here, uh, I'm going to Ultimate Brave Burst Roa. So what that does is we got a ton of spark damage. And sparks are good. Uh, and doing this resets the stance as well. So, you know, all the stances. Um, the one that you want to use it on the most would be the godly stance, because that one sucks. Uh, it had the highest chance of killing my units randomly for whatever reason. If I was just using like occult treasures and like 15% um, secondary spheres and whatnot. So, here the stance has been broken. Yay. You know, you don't die instantly which has happened to me quite a few times because you get extremely nuked and nuking is bad because your entire team dies and you're like oh I messed up and that feeling sucks uh, this is really hard so you know rip um, yeah now that we're getting closer um, since I know that my team right here see that's the other thing is that I got an expression of anger for not even doing knowing what stance. And here I'm getting a warning again. Oh well. So I was supposed to reapply uh, my crystals there. I'll just I'll just throw another smoke bomb. I don't think I'll have any issues with that uh, later on. So around 50% is when you want to reapply your attack and defense crystals, right? So you put one on, I uh, put the other one on. You know, since you're soloing, you don't really exactly get help from other members, so you gotta do everything yourself. So here I just reapply it. I'm um, going fight. Not really caring about a unicorn, some angels, you know, we. So basically, um, I only start with the attack and defense crystal. Uh, as soon as you get in and then after a while you should be fine but when you get to around 50% that's usually when a, the majority of people I see either die, get wiped, or they have to leave because they screwed up. So around that point is when you want to reapply your raid items. Then you get your team back inside and start laying the smack down, cutting up the sushi, getting the hair, you know, all about that life. As you can see, uh, I do pretty good damage. So this time we're gonna make him happy. We're gonna listen to his stances. I still have a hero crystal and a Fujin potion left, just in case I run into any random shenanigans where he gets angry at me or I screw up. But paying attention now. Usually when I'm doing raid, it's like I'm doing a lot of other things, I'm not really focusing as much, I kind of feel bad, feels bad man, because uh, it's like, oh I died, then I die again, so then I have to pay attention, so my units don't die, and 
I can help everybody out. So as you can see here, the flame extinguisher is deadly. Like, it hurts now. So when you start getting into the 25% range, um, this is where you die again for a lot of other people. And, you know, even with my other team that I used to use, which was, you know, instead of all these fancy spheres, I just had a cult and the 15% spheres. Those work as well, but you don't do as much damage as, let's say, this team because I put all my best spheres on them and whatnot. All right. So around here is when you would pop your, you know, second smoke bomb, you leave, you go heal up. And this is where you would apply two the last two crystals. So you put your attack and your defense crystal on right here. So you put your attack times two, defense times two. So you wanna basically burn them down as quickly as you can. This is usually where you'd wanna save your um, hero crystal and your Fujin for. This is, th this right now is where you get into the danger zone. Under 25%, because this is where like these units um, my Griff and my Roa both have occults, and as you can see, they're getting burnt down. RIP. Part of that was probably because I wasn't switching from my Drevis SV being, so I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna guard all of you. So, status ailments are a huge part of this too, uh, I'm not gonna lie. They help quite a bit, but... As you can see, even though this is still a solo, I'm doing really well. Um, granted, you know, I should have been more attentive to uh, switching my SBB and stuff around, but it's no biggie. Uh, here, since we're down to the last 20% anyway, we'll just, um, you know, use Roa, get him that UBB gauge overdrive, and this is the time, you know, since like my Griff died, now I don't have any more revives and whatnot. So this is where I basically leave, pop on my um, crystals, and basically, you know, burn them down. So here, um, we're just going to use like Thunder Tiger Uproar, get that spark vulnerability and all the SVBs off. And as you can see, uh, we basically did tons of damage that turn, and next turn should be alright. Uh, but instead of, I guess, following his stance, what I'm gonna do next is leave it on auto, get him down to like 5-10 HP, uh, use my smoke bomb, get out, reapply my crystals just to show you guys like max points wise what you would be able to get here. Obviously you don't have to run revives or revive lights, but normally I just keep them there because random things happen all the time and whatnot. So here, you know, he's down to like the last 5% HP, gotta let him live, gotta chill out. Gonna move away, gonna pop all my god crystals. One, two. And three. There we go. Attack crystal number one. And yes, they do stack. You can only have a total from everybody in the raid. Um you know, give uh, at any one point maximum of times four buffs from the defense and attack crystals. So you can blow all your attack and defense crystals at the start if you really want to, because that's what I did uh, the first time uh, I came here, because I was just like, yo, let's burn everything and kill them as fast as possible, which we kind of did. So here, um, you know, you'd have that extra 20% attack defense boost, which does help in his latter, you know, last, last stages. Now, uh, Hero Crystal, as you can see, he has like no, no HP anymore. Oh, so sad. I'm um, just going to kill him now, put him out of his misery. There you go. So there's Roa, Ultimate Brave Burst, everybody else, BBs, and 
uh, should be dead. Should be dead there. And I don't know about speed, but that was relatively fast. Or he's not dead. What? Okay. That's confusing. Guess he's not dead. Eh. Hey. What? You what, mate? Hmm. <laughs> so technically, he should be dead. Right there. Oh, so that was around. I'm gonna say. 20 minutes. There we go. 20 minutes killing Sushi solo. Um. Could have probably reduced the time a little bit more if I didn't like. If I paid attention slightly more during that part where I just left Revis on auto attack and you know, kept kept like not reapplying his buffs for status ailments, which do reduce uh, the damage from him significantly, and um, if I didn't you know use my smoke bombs to get out like twice, three times and reapply my attack and defense crystal. That usually only happens in that run. If I were to do it again, I just do it twice or maybe even three times still, but um, I just like last 25% instead of using one, I'd use all three, for example. So I could really just smack him down. But there you go, that's Sushi soloed. Uh, max points, 91.6 mil. So that's you know how you know that I did it completely solo by myself. There's two stars to prove it. And of course, uh, great RNG would dictate that I get a hair drop right here. Never lucky, okay. So this is where you would normally get a hair drop. Uh, if you clear it, uh, you can get up to two. I've gotten it before. Um, that was really lucky in my opinion. But you usually get one from a run if rates are good or you get really lucky. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have questions or you want to know more about the squad that I use, um, it'll be down in the description below. And I'll also probably have a link to my regular quote unquote team that I was using, um, you know, when I didn't have all my OP spheres on this squad. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.